In this interconnected world, no country is safe until every country is safe. We need to prepare now for future pandemics and work with greater determination towards the goal of universal health coverage. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, we must increase investment towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals by providing low-income countries with a means of implementation. In this respect, the G20 Debt Standstill Initiative is a welcome response to the fiscal and liquidity challenges faced by least developed economies. The agreement on the allocation of $650 billion in special drawing rights is significant, but it is insufficient to meet the extent of the enormous need. South Africa therefore reiterates its call for 25% of the total allocation amounting to around $165 billion to be made available to the African continent. Mr. President, climate change is an existential crisis for the entire world, yet poor countries are particularly vulnerable. Although we bear the least responsibility for causing climate change, African countries are among those that carry the greatest burden and cost. For the forthcoming COP26 in Glasgow to respond adequately to the crisis we face, 